Hi, welcome back to Django series. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to create and render template file for each application. I will create separate folder inside template folder for application and then each application will contain only those HTML file which are related to them. This feature will enhance readability and separate HTML file according to our application. So let us start the discussion step wise. So here I explain the process. Step number one, create a project. To create the project, we need to go to the terminal, type the command Django admin start project and name of the project. In our case, I will use a software professional. This will create a project which contains certain files. Second step to create an application. To need to create the application, we need to go to the project folder that is a software professional. And then we can type a command python manage.py start app name of the application. So the first application is a tester. So it will create one application tester under my project. So you can find under the project tester application is created. In the similar way, I'll create another application. So next application is let's say coder. So that coder folder will get created under the project folder. In the similar way, I'll create one more application that is a manager. Now, once the applications are created, we need to register all the application under Django project. Register the app. To register the app, we need to go to the project folder. Under the project folder, open the settings.py. Scroll down that file and go to the install app. Inside the install app, we need to add a customized application list. So this is my install app. Under that, I can add some customized application. Already some inbuilt applications are there. So I'll add three application that I created. Tester, another application is coder, and one more is manager. So once the application is registered, we can use to write the business logic for that application. Next step to create template folder. Now to create a template folder under the project. So go to the project and create a new folder. Name of the folder is templates. So that template folder is get created. Once the template folder is created, we need to register this template under the project. So again, go to the settings.py file. Under the settings.py file, go to the template. Under the template, we need to add the directory. So here we have created a folder directory. So we'll verify that directory first. So let's say I'll create template directory as equal to this path dot I'm going to join with base dir and name of the folder that is a template. So it will give an error to the OS. So I need to import that package OS at the start of the file. So I'm going to import the particular package. So let it be. So I'm going to import OS. <laughs> After that, we are going to verify whether the template directory is in the right location or not. So I'm going to print this template underscore dir. At the same time, I'm going to add this template under the directory. Now to verify this file, I need to go under the folder software professional. And under the folder, I'm going to check whether the template is in the right location or not. So I'm going to write Python settings.py here i make a spelling mistake just a minute settings.py and we can verify that under the project folder we are pointing to the template directory now once we verify the template next step step number five to write the views now we'll write the individual view in the application so first of all i write the view for tester application 
so i'll go to the tester application we know that business logic is need to be written under the views.py so i'll open the views.py file so i will create two separate function under the view.py so first function is junior tester having parameter as request and that function will return that function will return the html page so you can say the first parameter is a request and after that we are going to pass the html file so first of all we will create now html file under the template folder so go to the template folder there is no any file under the template folder so here we are very specific that under the template folder according to the application we are going to create the file so i will create another folder under the template that is a tester so that tester folder contain the html files that i want to redirect from the tester application so i'll create a new file at name of the file is let's say jtest.html and another file i'll create that is s test that is senior tester s test.html so these two separate file i created under the tester application i will write some sample code under that file so html and under the html i'll write a body tag inside it i'm going to write h2 and inside that i'll write hi i am junior tester i just copied this content and i'll paste it into another html page with i just change a message instead of junior i'm a senior tester so these two html pages are ready now i'll go to again views.py so that html file need to be changed here so already i pointing to the template folder so under the template folder we have a tester folder and inside that we have two file so here i'm going to use jtest.html so simple static data here i'm going to print after that i'll modify that html page as well then second function here i'll write senior tester parameter i'm going to write request and that will also return that html page data so return render request and second parameter is html page so again under the tester folder i have the file as test dot html now these both functions are ready under the view file now you have to go for next step next step is configure the url to configure the url we need to go to the project folder under the project folder we have url.py now here also we have to sort the urls as per the applications under the url.py file first we write the include function because we have to include the urls from other application then we'll modify the path under the url patterns under the project folder so path consists of the application name is tester and i want to include the urls so urls is under tester dot urls so it will redirect to that application url so next step is go to the application folder so i am using tester application so under the tester application we need to create a new file urls.py under the tester application we'll create urls.py file which is initially empty we'll copy the content of main project url file and we'll paste into the application url we'll modify certain things so here we are very specific on the functions that we use under that application or we can say business logic that we use under that application so first of all i'll remove this first we'll import the views from application so from name of the application tester and we are going to import the views so all the views will import from this application so i'll write two functions under the view.py so i'll call one by one both the function the first is let's say j 
tester junior tester and use dot name of the function so j tester that i am going to call under the url patterns i'll set one more path for s tester again call that view views dot seniority tester so both the functions are been called in the url pattern so now url pattern is set to the project and an application now we'll execute for the single application whether we are getting the expected outcome or not to execute the project i'll type a command python manage dot py run server okay we are under the project so in our project folder so we need to come outside that so now i will execute the project to test the functionality so i'll type the command python manage dot py run server so once it executes successfully we'll copy this url and paste into the browser once i copied the url into the browser admin and tester so we are going to visit the tester page so tester under the tester application we have j tester and s tester now I'm going to execute J tester. I'll get the hi, I am a junior test. Similarly, if I just use S tester, then I'll get I am a then I'll get hi, I am a senior tester. Again, I'll back to Woody. So in this way, we can create the HTML pages under the application name tester so that it will avoid the conflict of the different application having same HTML page name. Thanks for watching this video.